Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So every custom ROM community is coming up with something new via the Android 13 update of the Google. So every ROM has its own DNA with respect to its performance and customizations. Every ROM is surely perfect but maybe it seems like today we have found a perfect Android 13 ROM for our POCO F1 which is seems to be a killer ROM. So this is from the project Telexer community which is of version 3.3 based on Android 13. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see in depth that what this ROM holds for us. So as we do, let's dive into the system information. So moving up to the settings in about phone section, you can see that clicking on this panel you will see that we are running on the project Alexa version of Android 13 which is of version 3.3 with having the latest Android security patch. This is the kernel which they are using called as the Kawaii and tapping on Alexa version happens nothing. And surely an Android 13 is direct too, that is pretty much obvious. Going further you will get all the generic settings which you get in system settings so that's all. Now let's jump to the elixir customizations that another features inside this rom. So moving further this is a panel called as essence clicking on that you will get this list view of customizations where you can get all the options with respect to the custom settings you can apply on your device. You will get options for themes where you can set the light and dark options and also you will get option for setting your font. They have got a wide variety of options to select from. So you can select any one of it and you are good to go with it. You can also have your favorite icon pack where you can set your signal styles, Wi-Fi icon style and many much more. Uh, basically they have used the list view option rather than using the scroll menu option which you see in most of the Android 13 ROMs. For me this is not much a major issue because Though it's a list view, it doesn't seem to be much cluttered or bloated with some unnecessary type of customizations. And also I guess that uh, not many users are affected by it. Because that's not really appealing in appearance but surely it works. So you will get all the type of customization which you actually deserve and you are good to go with it. Some quick settings customization view where you can enable and disable the stuffs by clicking on a simple toggle which you usually do in all the other custom ROMs. Gestures where you can set the navigation such as the swipe for screenshot and some other navigation options which you usually do. All the customization options are pretty much the one which are actually needed by the users itself. There is also a gaming mode option in miscellaneous setting. We will talk about it later in our gaming performance section. So that's all about the customizations. Talking about the Android 13 specific customization, then you will get all the other stuff such as Monet engine where you can have some different colors and some also themed icons where you can set and enable themed icons as per the wallpaper of your device. Moving to the widgets and other home settings, you will get all the home settings like you get in a AOSP type of ROM or any, any of the pixel device. Next is about widgets, then you will get all the Android 13 specific and generic widgets. One of the famous is this the battery consumption one and the other is the clock one. So you will get all these widgets and the very famous clock one I have already set on my screen. So all these customizations are included. So basically you will get all type of customization no matter it's a generic Android 13 or from the ROM community and it will sail your boat no matter what and that's pretty much beautiful. Now let's play some games that is the gaming performance of this ROM. So moving down into the essence, when you scroll down to the miscellaneous settings, I have shown you that you have got gaming mode. Entering into gaming mode in game space, you can enable all the options which you want such as the ringer and all the other stuff. 
To get your gaming mode work, you just have to click on this plus icon and include any of the game you want to play and want as a specific settings. I have enabled angled as experiment and also enabled the game performance as standard. You can enable the game performance as per your preferences. So here we go, let's test our game that is the BGMI. As you can see on the extreme right top you will see that the FPS is getting counted. So let's jump into the game and see how it works. So as you can see I am playing BGMI and this is something third or fourth gameplay of BGMI in T TDM and I haven't faced any type of issues. On the top right corner you will get all the options such as enabling or disabling FPS and setting your mode. So in terms of gaming this ROM is pretty much good and you won't face any type of issues and it really really smooth in terms of performance. Now let's talk about the battery performance of this ROM. So moving down in settings into the battery section you will see that this is the UI of the battery status and to be honest once you charge to 100% you will get about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time and you will left with about 10 to 15% at the end of the day. So in terms of battery too this ROM works pretty much decent and for me it's pretty much satisfying. Again, these stats depends on person to person and how much you use your device and that's how it goes. Now let's discuss and talk something about safety net check or CTS bypass. So let me tell you guys while recording this video, I just checked with the safety net check application but as you can see on screen, it tell that it fails. But after a while, I again test it and it just showed that it got passed. So my motto to tell you is that the CTS actually work and you can use all your banking applications and finance application without any issues. It was just a glitch or a bug because of which it shown me failed but yes CTS works perfectly fine on this ROM so don't worry for that. So now let's snap some pictures that is elixir camera. So let me tell you guys that this is something really good that many of the custom ROM communities including MIUI camera which actually supports the 4K video recording. This is something really nice because of the capability of the Snapdragon 845 chipset. Our Poco F1 actually supports 4K 60fps recording and you are privileged to use it no matter how old this device is. So you can use 180 60fps, 4K 60fps and 30fps on this camera application without any issues. Surely you are flexible to use your Gcam 8.2 also. You will find that video in the i button. But you can also use this camera for a daily usage and it will fulfill all your things. So this camera application cover all your basic needs regarding photography and also videography. You will get portrait mode and all AI enabled option in all the photography section. And you are good to go with all of it. So in terms of camera 2, you will get this MIUI camera packaged inside this ROM and you won't face any type of issues with it. Now let's talk about security, privacy and direct sound in answer. So as you can see this sensor blinking right? Yes, you will get face unlock out of the box in this ROM too. Previously also I have reviewed one ROM inside which the face unlock is working and again again in this ROM face unlock works pretty much fine which is the IR face unlock. So here you can see moving into the security settings you will get face unlock where I have added one face and two fingerprints of mine. Moving further you will get other security settings such as Google Play settings, some smart some smart settings and some other stuff which you get generically in all the other ROMs. So in terms of security, you are good to go with your IR face unlock and you are set to use it without any issues. Moving further in sound settings, if you scroll down, you will get the Mi Sound Enhancer which is also called as Direct Sound Enhancer. You can just set your preset of your choice and set the type of earphones you use. You can also enable Hi-Fi for better sound performance and you will get that enhanced and rich sound from Android 13 ROM which you usually get in all the ROMs since Android 12. So that's something pretty much good. So now let's talk about some numbers that is the Antutu scores. So let me tell you guys Antutu scores of this ROM is pretty much high as compared to all the other Android 13 ROMs till now. 
8 clocks as 3.63 lakhs which is really really high though as i always say that don't rely much on numbers but we really want to see that how much and to score this rom clock set for them the score is pretty much high it's about 3.63 lakhs and i think that it's pretty much obvious because the performance and in terms of stability and other stuff this rom actually really really performs well now here come my final words which is basically in conclusion so if you ask me then this rom is pretty much stable and it's really really fine tuned when you have to play any type of games or even use normal social media applications or just have to customize your device using the alexa customization this rom is pretty much smooth and stable i previously thought that safety net check is actually an issue but it also passes safety net check and everything else works pretty much fine so surely you can use this rom as a daily driver and you won't face any type of issues i have tested this rom for almost a week that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you again in the next time with new rom and some other new updates till then peace out